Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ blessed. Hey, this country did this with Israel united in Christ. Hey, I'm Captain Hoshaya to my left, I got. And I'm Officer Hockey. Hey, look, y'all, today's topic is the permanence of Earth. The permanence of Earth. Uh, they said it's a contradiction in the Bible. They said Ecclesiastes 1 and 4 contradicts with 2 Peter 3 and 10. And Ecclesiastes 1 and 4 is saying the Earth abided forever. In 2 Peter 3 and 10, it says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So look, man, we going to dig right into this, man. Look, we ain't going to play no games. We're going to jump clean into this. They saying these scriptures contradict. We're going to prove there's no contradiction there. So look, let's get that real quick in Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 4. One generation passed away and another generation coming. But the earth abided forever. So it's saying one generation pass away and another generation coming, uh, coming and go. Now this is actually going into a regeneration. Let you know, look, a man die, man come back. It said, but the earth abided forever. The earth has been here since God has created it. Now look, let's go to Second Peter three and ten. The book of Second Peter chapter three and verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. A lot of y'all think the day of the Lord ain't coming, but it will come. And it's going to come like a thief come at night, right? In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. So it said the heavens going to pass away with a great noise, right? And the elements shall be melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Now look, it, is, it will be fire on earth during those times. Now look, let's show you what it's talking about. When it's saying that the earth therein, and uh, when it say the earth also and the works therein shall be burnt up, he's saying the earth is gonna be destroyed. First and foremost, let's read all the way down to verse thirteen. Let's show you what's gonna end up happening. What's gonna take place? Read verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be? In all holy conversations and godliness. So the first time the Lord wiped man off the face of the earth, he used water. The second time he going to uh, come and judge the earth, he going to use fire. Read on. Looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It's saying the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So what kind of person you ought to be? The first time the Lord destroyed it with water because of the evilness and wickedness of man on the earth. The second time he's going to destroy it with fire. Read. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. So look, we look for new heavens and a new earth. Is this saying that heaven's going to be destroyed and the Lord going to make, I mean, is this saying the earth going to be destroyed and the Lord going to make a new earth? Is this what it's saying? No, it's actually going into the earth being refreshed. And look, this this what proves the, the bottom part of this scripture proves that it's talking about the earth will be refreshed. Read on. Nevertheless, we according to his promise, look for new heavens and, and a new earth. We're in dwelling righteousness. We're in dwelling righteousness. Because now, when you look at all the things that's going on on earth now, pedophilia, homosexuality, transgenderism, murder, abortions, it's all amount of evil going on throughout the earth. But the new heaven and the new earth is going to dwell righteousness. People are going to keep the commandments of God. It ain't going to be no pedophilia. It ain't going to be no homosexuals, no transsexuals. It ain't going to be no abortions. It ain't going to be no murder, no rape, no robbery. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the earth will be refreshed. Now let's prove that this ain't talking about the earth being destroyed. Jump down to 2 Peter 3 and 5. Read. The book of 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old. The heavens were of old. What heavens of a, were of old is it talking about? It's going into the time of Noah. It's going, what happened during the time of Noah? Let's get Genesis real quick. Genesis chapter 6 verse 13. Let's go to the old heavens. Because we're looking for new heavens and a new earth. So you got to think about it. Let's read this first and then we'll explain. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 13. Okay. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. He said, look, I will destroy them with the earth while I destroy them 
from the earth. So what was going on during the time of Noah? The earth was full of violence. So what he did? He destroyed them with the earth. And guess what happened? He saved Noah and uh, his family. It was eight of them total. And guess what ended up happening? We on a new heaven and a new earth right now. That's why I go right back to 2 Peter 3 and 5. The book of 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of. That by the word of God, the heavens were of old. So that's talking about the heavens, the old heavens, and the old earth was during the time of Noah. So right now, believe it or not, y'all, after the earth was, it was refreshed, we living on a new heaven and a new earth. Well, guess what? This ain't got old because the wickedness of man has increased once again. So now, what we looking for? We looking for what? A new heaven. And a new earth, one in dwelling righteousness. Finish it up, read. And the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Read. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. So look, the world that then was meaning what? That was the old world. Right. And we in what now? We in a new, new world. world. Let's prove that. Go to 2 Peter 2 and 5. Read what you got. The book of 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. And spurred not the old world. She spurred not the old world. See, we looking for a new world. But guess what? It's the same earth. The earth abided forever. That's why you got to read. It's no contradiction there. Read. Read now. <laughs> and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Read. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Bringing in the, the world of the ungodly. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. So what? That was the whole world. And then now we living in what? A so-called new, new world. world. But what we looking at, this place and got old because sin and unrighteousness. So what we looking for now? We looking for new heavens, new earth, a new world. It's talking about the earth being refreshed. Go to 2 Andrew chapter 11, verse 46. 2 Andrew chapter 11, verse 46. So it's no contradiction there. You got to read. Read what you got. The book of 2 Andrew chapter 11, verse 46. That all the earth may be refreshed. You see that? That all the earth may be refreshed. Why do the earth need to be refreshed? I think we want to start up on that right there. To end. Let's start up at verse uh, 40. Verse 40. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were passed. Now this is talking about the fourth kingdom that was the rule on earth. He overpassed all the other kingdoms. That were passed, read. And had power over the world with great fearfulness. Is this going into America? America got power over the world with great fear fearfulness. They got over 800 military bases worldwide. Read it all. They rule the world with great fearfulness, read. And over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. With much wicked oppression. If you don't want to follow their laws, if you don't want to follow their politics, they'll sit up here and put blockades. They'll starve your people out. You know what I'm saying? They do all manner of oppression and wickedness to the people. Read on. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. And he dwelling on earth with deceit. Read. For the earth hast thou not judged with truth. Read. For thou hast afflicted the meek. Thou hast hurt the peaceable. Thou hast loved the liars and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit and has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Now jump on down to verse 46, read. Verse 46, that all the earth may be refreshed. See, the earth got to be refreshed, read. And may return, being delivered from the violence. You said being de delivered from thy violence, read. And that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. So the earth got to be refreshed. So that's what it's talking about in 2 Peter 3 and 10. The earth will abide forever according to what uh, King Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. So there's no contradiction there. So with that, y'all, we're going to say shalom. Most high Christ bless. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.